Today we're starting a new series where we're going to be playing a religious game, except we're going to take the time to show new players exactly what they need to do in order to be able to win the game on even the highest difficulty levels. So if that sounds interesting, stick around. If you want to get good at Civ 6, subscribe and click the bell to keep up with the channel. Alright, so today we're going to be playing with Pedro and choosing Brazil. Now, I honestly think that Brazil is a pretty tough all-around civilization. They're, they're fairly powerful, good for winning religious games, good for winning culture games, scientific as well, to be honest. Um, and they have some really fun abilities that help with games, but we'll get into that in a minute. For now, we're going to be playing on a Pangea map today. And we're going to uh, throw on standard sizes as well. We'll leave the disaster intensity at 2. Alright, so the only changes on here that I'm going to make is I'm going to switch the world age to new. Just because I like a lot of hills and mountains in, in my games. And we're also going to change the rainfall to wet because we're playing as Brazil and they have a lot of uh, special abilities revolving around rainforest. So we want as many of those as possible. Alright, so here we go. Brazil has the magnanimous ability to start with that says after recruiting or patronizing a great person, 20% of its great person point cost is refunded. So that 20% goes a really long way towards helping you get great people easier. It adds up throughout the course of the game, especially the farther into the game you get, if you are going to be uh, purchasing great people with them. However, because we're playing a religious game, this really isn't going to come into effect for us. The next ability they have here, Amazon, is very powerful. It says, Rainforest Tiles provide plus one adjacency bonus for campus, commercial hub, holy sites, and theater districts. Rainforest Tiles provide plus one housing for neighborhoods built adjacent to them. So this is actually a huge benefit to them. They're very powerful. Those adjacency bonuses stack very, very quickly as long as you put a little bit of thought and planning into where you're placing your districts as you'll see once we get into the game here but um, they also have a unique battleship and again another unique district however those aren't going to come into play in our game as we're playing a religious game and we're basically looking to finish the game within 150 turns that's kind of my goal for this and uh, yeah so I've rambled enough let's just get into this Okay, so quite a nice start here. As you can see, the, the New World Age and the Wet Rainfall are definitely having their effect here. Not to mention Brazil has a natural uh, bias towards starting near rainforest, so it's kind of the perfect storm. We got a nice little start here. Now, I don't think there's any reason that we wouldn't just settle in place. Looks like we'll have a good spot for a campus eventually here. And a nice easy holy site to get started. So let's go ahead and drop our city. We are definitely going to be going towards a scout immediately. Now let's head to the north with our warrior here and see what we can see. Uh, in the meantime though, we're definitely going to be going straight towards astrology. Having that extra science per turn is actually a nice little bonus as well for settling on the geothermal fissure. Okay, nice. We got a goody hut over there. We'll go ahead and scoop that up next turn. <laughs> nice, a builder. Not that we really have anything we can use the builder for at this moment. Now, we did score out as well that we have a location for our holy site. That's one of the tough things when you are playing as Brazil, sometimes it's hard to find locations for your holy sites without having to research bronze working first to chop some of the jungle away. However, we are off to a decent start in that regard. Um, so seeing as how we don't really have anything for our builder to do at the moment, let's just start exploring with him. Now with our warrior, let's just keep heading up towards the north here. I think what I'll do is, since we have this builder going down here to take a look, we'll take one of our scouts and send them up and follow this river here towards the east. And with the other scout, we'll go um, towards the west and follow this river here 
looks like we'll have some nice locations for a city here thinking about settling on the coffee or maybe over here somewhere but in the meantime like i said let's use the builder for something productive and let kind of explore with it a little bit we'll have to be careful because we obviously don't want to get in um getting attacked but there's not really too much of a risk of that because uh, the barbarians won't attack your builder unless their um, goody huts are, or their goody hut, their barbarian camp's already been destroyed. Speaking of goody huts, <laughs> we got one down there to grab. Okay, so there is a barbarian scout up here. That's good. Let's try and see where it came from and get some error score. Now, one thing we can do too, when we're scouting out down here, is we can, if we put the settler lens on, it sometimes can give you advance warning as to where somebody is located for instance um oh here's a perfect example so for instance up here you can see this tile is red that's indicating that there's either a player up here or a city state so we are definitely going to want to head up there and take a quick look before we keep chasing the scout here i mean we won't end up catching the scout anyways as i'm sure it's going to piss off next turn so it definitely makes sense for us to move up here and there we go sure enough it was a city state and we did get the first meet on them too which is definitely nice jerusalem is also one of the best city states that we can get as far as a religious one goes because their suzerain bonus here is very powerful when we are playing a religious game and so let's take a look here uh the quest trigger the eureka for bronze working so that is definitely attainable as well as um to get the Eureka for bronze working, we have to kill three barbarians. So let's use this warrior to head after the scout here and try and start working towards that goal. In the meantime, with our builder, let's go ahead and craft grab that. So we have a second builder here. Definitely is going to come in handy when we actually have some tiles that we can improve. But uh, in the meantime, not really the most significant thing here. However, so I think what we'll do is send the builder to follow this river here and we'll send this scout out this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually prioritize. We, we still will get a second scout eventually. However, I think I might just end up buying one considering we do have these builders that are going to give us a head start to find... A good location for our next cities and I'd really like to get our second and third cities founded as quickly as possible so now we'll go ahead and put a turn in towards I'll put a turn into a slinger here for now because it's not really going to waste. We have to wait one more turn until our population size grows. Now, we found that barbarian camp, so that is nice. If that scout doesn't run away, we'll take a shot at the scout, though, because uh, the sooner we can kill three barbarians, the better, because we'll get that city-state quest for Jerusalem. Now, there's definitely some nice territory over here as well. Let's just keep following the river here and see where it takes us. Pretty sure I forgot to switch to a settler right away. That's my bad. Uh, meanwhile, okay, so we can take a shot at the scout, so let's go ahead and do that now. I mean, chances are the scout's going to run away. But you never know, we might be able to finish it off. In the meantime, let's keep looking around with the builder over here. OK, 
Okay, so here we go. Here's another indication. We have the settler lens on here, and this hill is red, so that's telling us that there is definitely either a city state or an enemy over here. Or enemy, I mean. I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Either a city-state or a civilization over there. I think we'll go ahead and take the shot in here with our warrior. And then we'll let them heal up a bit. In the meantime, we're headed over here with the scout. That cattle would actually be a nice spot for a holy site. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, so we're going to heal up with our warrior here. Jerusalem looks like they're getting closer. Hopefully our warrior will be able to heal up. And then we'll be able to take the finishing shot. In the meantime, we're going to continue on with our scout down there. Let's head up onto the hill so we can see what we can see. Alright, so there definitely is room for to fit a city in here. Anyways, we'll keep that in mind. Let's continue exploring with that guy next turn. Let's continue headed towards the east. Okay, so it looks like this is Germany by the looks of it, black and gray. Okay, so it looks Jerusalem backed off a little bit too, which is nice. It gives us time to heal up and continue to go after the barb camp there. Okay, so it was Germany, sure. And now, one of the problems with playing religious games is that you are very weak at the beginning. So let's go ahead and send a delegation immediately so we can have as good a relations with Germany as we can. Okay. Okay, so if we settle the gypsum in here... Because it's a plus four holy site right away if we end up harvesting the animal hus <coughs> the animal husbandry if we end up harvesting the cattle once we get animal husbandry so and especially since we have the builder right here that's nice and convenient for us and we have a number of two two tiles to open up with so that's nice and then we can maybe look to get a campus here or something at a later point once We've discovered bronze working down the line. Okay, so. Well, we are definitely going to want to come settle this city immediately because Australia is right there. Let's go ahead and send them a delegation as well for that exact same reason. Um, so we know where we're going to be settling this straighter, or the straighter, we know where we're going to be settling this, oh my god, I can't even talk today. We know where we're going to be sending this settler straight away. There we go. And I think what we'll do too is after we clear out this barbarian camp here, we'll end up sending our warrior over that way too, um, in order to hopefully make them think twice about attacking us. So in the meantime, let's let our warrior heal up again and let's continue on our merry way with our builders we will eventually want to start bringing them back but i mean it's still a ways away before we end up having a use for them realistically so i'm not too too concerned about that in the meantime we've gotten ostr ostr fuck i can't talk today um we've gotten astrology here so let's go ahead and we're gonna head towards Actually, we'll head towards animal husbandry. I was going to head towards 
mining right away so that we can chop things. However, um, I definitely want to be able to harvest that cattle to help the city grow before we place our holy site. So that's why I'm um, jumping the gun and heading straight towards animal husbandry. Uh, meanwhile, here though, what we will do is we are going to skip the turn with the scout there, and that's because I'm going to attack the spearmen with them. However, we're going to wait until next turn when we slot in the survey military policy in order to get the double experience for our recon units for doing that. All right, and so Germany's denounced <laughs> not the start that we'd like. Let's go ahead and throw survey in like we talked about. And now we're going to also put in God King. Normally, I say since we got the first discovery of that religious civil or the religious city state and we're getting two faith per turn i would go straight towards urban planning however in this specific case i want to get our pantheon as quickly as we can so i am going to go and slot in god king immediately we'll definitely get out of that as soon as we get towards foreign trade here which we're going to head towards next um, now that we do have our survey policy card in we're going to go ahead and attack them with our scout to get them eight experience and then we'll also smash them there with our warrior in the meantime let's just keep exploring with that builder let's take one more look up here to see what we can see and now i'm going to get the builder to head down towards the south and make our way back towards the cattle there Alright, so, it seems like none of our delegations have worked. They've already both denounced us, which isn't a very good thing by any means. And not only that, but the barbarian camp spawned a warrior, so that is definitely not what we'd like to see. Uh, however, we are just going to get the hell out of there with our scout now, and in the meantime... Let's head over here and we'll fortify until healed in in the woods. Now, it might not have been the best idea to move since we were in rainforest on a hill. We have very good defensive values there. However, I'm hoping that the warrior doesn't pursue us and that they start fighting with Jerusalem's warrior that was down there, which will allow us to heal up enough to just quickly take out the camp for ourselves in the meantime like we talked about let's head down towards the south with this builder okay so there's another german city down here all right so we are definitely going to take our promotion here first and we're going to go get battle cry immediately it just makes sense getting that extra seven combat strength versus melee and range units definitely <laughs> is the right call for us especially in this situation we also did unlock our pantheon and what we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to take religious settlements as quickly as we can now i am honestly tempted to go for oh it's not even there anyway <laughs> there you go i was gonna say take sacred path to get, uh, turn these jungle into even better Adjacency bonuses for our holy sites, but it's not even there to take so that is fine We are going to go ahead and take religious settlements anyway getting our settler as Quickly as we possibly can now we'll be able to get three cities up and going Now we are going to be settling over here, which is probably going to piss Off Australia, so I really would not like to move down towards Germany if we can avoid it until we at least have some slingers out and are closer towards the archery technology so i think what we'll do um i'm going to take a minute here and look at some possible city locations and see what we're going to do okay so what we're going to do here is i have a couple cities plotted in i think we're going to take this settler and head up here to get this city founded a little bit before this one our settler is still six turns away going there that's fine however this will 
give us a few turns, our settler, our settler will settle the city here and we'll actually hold off on clearing out this camp here with our warrior until we settle that and then we'll get an extra arrow score because we're within six tiles of, a, of one of our cities. Instead of two arrow score, we'll get three for that. Um, so in the meantime, here with our scout, we're going to go ahead and head towards the thing right away. We did not get a first meet on Valletta either. That's fine. Uh, they want us to send a trade route, which is pretty easy. Let's go ahead and move here. Okay, it looks like there's an enemy as well there. Uh, Rome, maybe? Because purple and and yellow. It's hard to tell these days with the different um, jerseys that the civilizations have. Um, meanwhile here we're going to keep moving down towards the south and let's get a closer look at the German city there. I don't think we'll go too too much further. Probably just around here a little bit and then start circling back up because we are going to want our builder to be somewhat near our cities when we are able to actually start using them. Uh, we met Norway somehow. Sure, let's exchange information on capitals. All right, so they are way the hell up to the north here. How did they? How did we meet them even? I don't know if that's beyond me, but uh, let's take a minute here and let's pop over there with our scout. And that was enough to get him his promotion. So let's go ahead and we're going to give him the Alpine promotion here. Faster moving on hills. And that gives him some nice healing as well uh, meanwhile like I said we'll start headed towards the east and then kind of round our way back up that way um, we'll head down south with this guy <laughs> I think it's just our luck okay so let now that we've gotten our promotion with our warrior let's move one step closer I was just going to say, because I, I want to be able to keep an eye out for the Jerusalem warrior there. I don't want them sniping it on us. So, in fact, what I'm going to do is actually move down here, and this way we'll body block them. They won't be able to completely move in there and snipe it on us no matter what. Uh, meanwhile, next turn we'll be able to settle our city on the coffee here, and what... That'll definitely be handy as well because we'll be able to sell the luxury right away and get us some gold that we can um, use to get units if we need them. Uh, in the meantime, I think we're pretty much getting to the, to the limit. Ooh, nice. Another uh, religious city-state there. But I think we're getting pretty much to the limit of where we want to send our builders by themselves. Nice, okay, sure. We've met Rome. That's another error score. So we're up 12 of 25. Got 13 to go. Now we'll... Oh, did... shit. I didn't... I'm a freaking bonehead. Okay, so this was a definitely a big mistake on my part. We should have definitely placed this holy site in the capital here. Um immediately when we unlocked astrology but i was a bonehead now we aren't going to build it immediately but by doing that we lock in the price of that so we definitely would have um, saved a little bit of production that way however I, I screwed it up so that's definitely my bad all right so everybody's just shitting all over us <laughs> and when i die i want to go away all right, so we got animal husbandry. That's nice. This builder here can um, harvest the cattle there for us. So we've come down and we've met Leventa now. Let's take a look here. So they want us to trigger a Eureka for irrigation, which is fine because we'll definitely be trying to do that. Um, meanwhile, let's go ahead and settle this city here. And now that we have that coffee, let's see. I don't think we're going to get very much for it. Uh, and they won't even... 
Are you fucking kidding me? They won't even give us anything because they denounced us. Yeah, go fuck yourself. So I guess we're going to be trading it towards Rome. Hopefully they don't have it. And they don't, so that's nice. Um, let's get as much as we can for it. Okay, so sure, we'll take 91. That's fine. That 91 allows us to buy our location for our holy site over here. So let's go ahead and do that and get to work on our holy site immediately here. And then let's take a quick look. How much is this going to be? 80. Okay, so we're going to save up 80 gold in order to purchase this tile here. This will allow us to get the... Um, building a farm on the rice will give us the Eureka for irrigation, which will get give us another plus two faith a turn because it'll earn us an envoy at Leventa. Not to mention being able to help the city grow a lot quicker too. That's just a natural bonus. But now that we do have the city founded, we are definitely within six tiles. So let's head over there and take out that camp with the warrior. It was a little bit of a risk too to leave that up in case they ended up spawning again. Uh, however, we were okay. So meanwhile here with this scout, I'm going to actually temporarily head back down here. I want to try and wrangle up the barbarian scout that was in there and catch them between our warrior and them. Uh, meanwhile, now let's start working towards archery with all these people denouncing us. I definitely want to be able to uh, be fairly close to archery in case we end up needing it. Um, okay, so it looks like there's another city state over here. Let's head that way. Oh. Okay, I only saw, we were far enough away that I only saw the yellow, so I thought it was a city-state, but I guess it's Russia. Didn't see the black there, so that is good, but I was just about to say that I think we've explored enough with our builder, so let's get them to come back towards our, our civilization here. All right, so we don't want to spend too much time chasing the scout because we want to bring our warrior back here for when we settle this city. Like, I'm expecting us to end up getting into trouble with Australia here fairly quickly. All right, they denounce us too. Nice, so that's going to work out well. The scout's going to end up uh, killing itself on us so we'll definitely let them do that that's fine which means we can send our our own scout out I just want to see what there is to see down here as far as if we can fit another city in here somewhere uh, if we do it quickly well we're definitely want to take this one but if we do it quickly we can settle maybe up here if we can end up making friends with them, though, I don't want to piss them off too much by forward settling them. So we'll kind of... We'll put a pin there for now, but that's not a for sure city. It'll be kind of fluid here. Uh, in the meantime, let's keep moving around. And yeah, like our our settler's going to be done there, so we definitely want to head over this way as quickly as we can. Alright, so we'll get our warrior to head over to our city, and we'll let them heal up when we get there. Um, and then we'll continue on our merry way down towards the south. Or... Er you know what I'm trying to say, this southeast, I guess, would be more accurate. Anyway, we finally finished our settler there, so let's start in on, on that holy site immediately. And let's get the settler on his way up there. Oh, 
one, two, three, four. Might even be able to fit in another city over here. One, two, three, four. We would be able to do it on the marsh there. So we don't have to get rid of the rice paddy. So we'll tentatively put that one in there. All right, let's keep going on. So we're up to 19 error score now. Let's take a quick look here. All right, so let's see. So Peter, Peter knows somebody we don't. All right, the Vikings don't know anybody we don't. Let's check Rome. And Rome doesn't either. What about Australia? And Australia does. Okay, so there's somebody towards Australia and Russia. So somebody probably in here, up here, will definitely want to head there next. So let's, we'll buy ourselves a, that second scout in a few turns here once we get up to 120 and send them on their merry way. Okay, in the meantime, let's see here if, can we get, no, they don't, they haven't discovered you yet. I was just about to say, can we get open borders with them? <coughs> Excuse me, to try and improve our relationship there, but we can't yet. Uh, in the meantime, let's keep exploring with that scout. And we're going to head straight towards our holy site there with the builder now that our settler is on its way Every nation lives by exchanging. nice okay so we got foreign trade finally so we can finally switch out of god king we'll get that taken care of right away and i think we will leave survey up in the meantime um and we'll definitely put in urban planning here to get the plus one production taking a look here at our city states valetta wants a trade route we need to kill one more Barbarian in order to get this, and we'll definitely be getting that um, bonus for them as well. Oh, I didn't even notice the sugar was there. Alright, so let's get this guy. Oh, I guess it's faster to come up this way. Uh, you can never tell with the auto-pathing. So 14 turns that way, 13... I guess it is faster because of the terrain. But who's to say we can even get through that fucking mountain pass? So never mind, let's just... Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's head up this way. Let's get this builder to head up north to come do the sugar next. We'll, we will clear this cattle with this builder, but then we'll send this builder on towards his merry way over there and that way he'll be able to come improve the rice paddy for the uh for the irrigation bonus a lot quicker okay so in the meantime now i think what we're going to do is actually go towards mysticism in order to get the envoy from there um because once we trigger the eureka for bronze working here we'll be able to make a suzerain of Jerusalem as long as we can get one more kill of a barbarian somewhere. So, fingers crossed that we can. We will be getting three error score from our holy site here, um, which will bump us up to 22. So, essentially, we really only need three more error score in order to guarantee our uh, golden age for the next era. If you're enjoying the video so far, do me a favor and take a second to hit the like button. It goes a long way to help a small channel like me get discovered. Better yet, leave a comment on here. Call me an asshole if you want to. Any engagement helps. Anyway, let's get back to what we're here for. Let's just scoot on by. Oh, nice. Waterfalls in every direction. Okay, so we met Kamusi too. What is their thing? Train of Spearmen. Alright, not freaking likely to be honest, but that's okay for now. Uh, meanwhile, 
Since we can't cross the river this turn anyways, we might as well let the scout heal up until next turn. We're at 20 of 25 now, so we only need two more error score. I'm already counting the three that we're going to get from the holy site. So that is attainable. As soon as we get mysticism, that will guarantee us... Um, as soon as we get mysticism, that will guarantee us our golden age. So essentially, we've already locked it in. We know for a fact that we're going to get a golden age. Meanwhile... Yeah, meanwhile, let's cross over here and be in a position to harvest that cattle. And we're going to come here and settle the city next turn and we'll buy our scout there. Okay, and they've closed off their borders, which means, uh, let's make a deal at, oh, never mind. I thought when they close off their borders that we can um, pay for open borders, but I'm just having a brain fart. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so we'll just skip a turn with our builder here. We'll go ahead and drop our city. Which gives us yet another luxury that we can trade away. So let's go ahead and talk to Trajan again. Alright, and he's giving us a decent price for it. So we'll go ahead and do that. Which leaves us 237. So I think what we will do here is we're going to go ahead and purchase... Oh, I see I've spaced out here we shouldn't have let archery research that far into it that's fine uh not ideal let's go ahead and get pottery so we can start making our way towards irrigation to eventually get this other coffee up online as well um and meanwhile we will be producing our holy site there in a second let's go ahead and buy that tile and So we are going to harvest it now for 25 food. Gave us the boost towards early Empire 2, which is nice, but let's go ahead and drop our holy site there now. And now, as we already talked about, let's get this builder to head over to the rice paddy. And meanwhile, let's buy ourselves a scout, I guess. I might regret not getting a warrior here. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so let's head down this way with the scout so that we can hopefully go meet somebody there. Uh, all right, so we built our holy site here in Rio de Janeiro. That's great. Let's go ahead and... Uh, keep working on the slinger for now. Meanwhile, our scout here can keep looking. We'll have to wait until next turn there because of their slinger. Everybody's just kind of shit-talking us because I guess that's the cool thing to do. But uh, we're finally 10 turns away from the Ancient Era, which is nice. We'll definitely have mysticism by then. However, ooh, I shouldn't count our chickens before we hatch, I guess. Because now that I'm thinking about it, we still have to kill that fucking... We still have to kill another barbarian unit, otherwise we won't get the bonus. That is going to be a pain in the ass if we don't end up getting somebody. Uh, the warriors healed up enough. Let's get them to head towards Sao Paulo there. Let's see if we can squeeze in between. Australia and Leventa there. Meanwhile, we can finally take our turn and, and cross the river over here. 
We do only need one extra error score if we don't end up getting that. So let's take a second to think here. How are we going to get one error score if... I don't know, I guess finger, fingers crossed we find something with our freaking scouts. Okay, so in the meantime, here... Oh, okay, they stopped because the unit's on the sugar there. So we'll just wait, we'll skip a turn. Because we can't cross the river anyway. Let's go ahead here and we'll buy this tile. Okay, meanwhile, let's start working on irrigation. Oh, I guess we can't. Yeah, because we can't. I'm a bonehead. There was no reason for me to buy that because we can't improve it without irrigation, so we have to wait anyway. I was thinking that we'd recoup the money as, like the very next turn, but I think I need to take a break from this game. We'll be putting a stop in here anyways when uh, we get to our next age, whether we secure a golden age or not. Time will tell, I suppose. Oh, don't... That's so trolly. Like, fuck off. Like, look at that scout. We could kill it, but Kamasi's gonna get it. Oh, that's... That's just not fun. The game's being a dick. Alright, so anyways, our... Um... Our builder here is going to continue making his way towards that rice paddy. Meanwhile, let's start getting our slinger that we just finished headed up in that direction. I don't want to spend too much time. Um, let's take a quick look here at our great people and see how... It's not religion, great people. See how we're doing. Russia's obviously well on their way there. And nobody else has got it. I don't think anybody's recruited. Okay, never mind. They they uh, must have gotten Stonehenge or something. Which is fine, but nobody else seems to be in a rush at the moment, so I'm not going to worry about it too, too much then. And in that case... Let's get a trader going as quickly as we can here. Now, that's one thing, too, that when you're playing a religious game, it's always nice to get a trader out as quickly as you can and get it headed towards wherever you're going to send your first um, send your first batches of apostles and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to build it here in Rio de Janeiro and send it towards Brisbane. Um, and that's going to really help us out because it will allow our religious units to get to where they're going even faster. Alright, so in the meantime now, I was going to say we'd send him here to the stone, but you know what? I think we'll just put the builder to sleep for now because I don't want to build the... Um, See, I do need to take a break. I can't even think of the word here. I don't want to build the quarry. There you go. Um, because if we don't end up getting our golden age, then I um, will be wanting to get the Eureka, the the error score point for that. Um, meanwhile, we have, what, eight turns? Come on, scout. Find something useful. We just need one point. Oh, if we can snipe that, I'm going to... No, we won't be able to snipe it. Alright, so we got mysticism, which is good. Let's start going towards early empire. And that way we can get the colonization card here, the plus 50% towards settlers. That'll help us... In the meantime now, we're just going to head straight towards a shrine with our second city. 
again, the Envoy, I'm going to just hold on to here because if... Um, if we don't end up triggering the Eureka for bronze working, then I'm going to send the envoy to one of the cultural city states instead of sending it to Jerusalem, and that way um, we'll get an extra two culture per turn, which at this point um, would go a long way towards helping us out. Uh, We do only need one air score. Oh, perfect. Fucked it. Perfect. Okay, so we should hopefully be able to get that Barbarian Slinger. Um, meanwhile, we will still just keep going. Hopefully, let's take a look here and see if uh, they'll... Okay, so it must be because they've denounced us that they won't open borders or something. I'm... All right, we found another city-state. Trigger the recon for sailing. Not very likely. Nice, it's even coming towards us. Okay, so we got five turns. We should definitely be able to kill this slinger here within five turns, which will be just what we need. Um... So let's keep looking with our scout there, uh, but in the meantime, they pillaged our holy site. <laughs> oh well, it, I will definitely allow them to pillage our holy site, so I don't think they're going to run away from us, but uh, you never know, so let's get in a little bit closer there. Killing our slinger will, we don't, or sorry, I was just going to say we don't want to kill them with the slinger if we can avoid it, because... I screwed up and researched archery too much, and we definitely want to get a few slingers before we uh, end up getting archery. So now, in the meantime, we got our trader, which is nice. Let's go ahead and start work on a monument for now. We want to get our culture game going so that we can get to theology as quickly as we can. And I don't want to build more slingers and stuff without having the military policy card on that we're going to get from getting craftsmanship so that's what i'm doing that in the meantime here let's go ahead and send it to i guess cranberry actually you know what let's send it to sydney and we'll get an extra faith there so all right so in the meantime we got nine turns on that shrine Actually, what am I... Oh, yeah, because I can't do the shrine there because they're on top of it and we need to repair it first. Oh, and well, we don't want to research irrigation anymore, so let's take a look here. I need to pay more attention to that. That's twice now I've screwed up. We researched too much because we're going to be getting that boost. Um, in the meantime, we'll start towards mining here. Just one second, I actually okay so what we're gonna do um we're gonna try and time this out we're gonna go towards writing and now i'm hoping that this times out properly that because we have what yeah it should work out because we we won't have the government plaza unlocked i'm gonna be trying to get a discount on two of our campuses before we um end up unlocking the government plaza and I think it should be okay here and I'll explain more about what I'm talking about when we actually get to that point so don't, don't worry about it because di discounting districts can be a little bit intimidating especially uh, for a newer place to understand it so I'll try and do a better job of explaining it when we actually get to that point um, and in the near future I will actually be doing an entire video to describe the, the process and uh 
but it's it's very helpful because it ends up getting you end up saving forty percent production on the campus. So you'll be able to see here quickly that we'll be able to get this campus up, and then I'll just throw a campus here instead of what I was planning up there. It really won't make a huge, huge difference. I mean, that would have been nice, don't get me wrong, but we won't have bronze working in order to clear that out. So uh, it makes more sense to just do it this way. So because of that, we also want to get them up to four population as quickly as we possibly can. So I'm going to make them work the four food tile there so that they can grow faster. And I don't think there's any tiles that we aren't working here in the capital. But that'll, we'll, that'll be fine anyways. We'll hit four population in ten turns, which is plenty of time before um, before we'll end up getting the, the next thing unlocked. Okay, so we do have our builders finally made it there. However, we don't have the money. It's going to be 85 bucks to buy that tile. So we'll just go ahead and tell him to go to sleep. Uh, in the meantime, let's just put this guy on automated exploration for now. And of course, the frickin' barbarians choosing to run. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be so bitter if we don't end up getting it. Alright, so we finished our holy site here. Let's just go ahead and start working on a shrine as well. Um, and... Yeah. In the meantime here, let's keep exploring with our scout. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Really? Oh, oh, oh thank God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I was just sitting there getting so bitter being like, they're going to fucking run. We're not going to kill this barbarian. We're not going to ma make it in time. But thank God, saved by the bell. All right, so we will get our golden age now no matter what. Um, as long as somebody doesn't scoop that goody hut on us. All right, so... Yeah, because we're not going to be able to kill that slinger. Alright, so now that we know we're not going to be able to kill that slinger, and I'm not worried about the era score, uh, it's not that big of a deal to um, be suzering Jerusalem immediately, so... Ooh. Loyalty problems. We're going to need to get a governor in there. That's fine. We'll get a governor in four turns, and it'll help... Oh, with that, in the meantime, though, since we aren't going to be getting the Eureka in this era anyways, what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and send our envoy that we have here. Let's take a look. And we'll definitely send it to Kamasi here. We're going to hopefully... Um, We'll end up being able to get suzerain to them eventually, but for now it'll just give us plus two culture, which at this point in the game is definitely a nice increase there. You can see about 33%. Uh, in the meantime, I think we finally got this slinger pinged in, which we'll be able to get uh, very quickly. However, let's go ahead and grab this here, which will secure our golden age. We got plus 20 diplomatic favor, which is nice because we can actually sell that. So let's go ahead and see what we can get for it in the meantime. Um, Okay, so 143, that's fine, I'll take it. Which gives us a good amount of cash there. And I think... Oh, 
let's go ahead and buy ourselves a warrior over here. Or actually, a slinger. Yeah, never mind. All right. All right, there you go. So, sure. We got our golden age, and this is a perfect place to put a cut in the video. So, thank you for watching. Please do me a favor and leave a like on the video if you haven't. Already, it really goes a long way towards helping a small channel like me get discovered, and I'd appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, that's where we're going to leave it, so you have to tune back next time and see where we go from here. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to shut up, and I'll just see you in the next video.